Hey everybody, welcome to my last review for the day. Um, today, uh, the last thing I'm going to test, it's not really a test, more as a, um, a review. It's uh, IOBIT Advanced System Care 3, and somebody wanted me to, you know, do a little review on it, so that's uh, no big deal. I went and downloaded it, 7.52 megabytes. We'll uh, install it here, seeing as there's no links or anything to show you how it works so we'll take our time in the install we'll accept the agreement put it in its default location we'll create a desktop icon I won't create a quick launch or add it to my favorites now I'm not gonna install a Yahoo toolbar or make Yahoo my default search engine the install should go by pretty quick okay I'm not gonna view the history wait for the installer to finish here. There's a quick start guide if you want it to. Okay, it's been successfully installed. You can pick a black or white theme. I like the black. We'll leave it in English. There's a ton of languages though, so you can pick whatever works for you. Okay, it's asking me if I want to create a system restore point right now. Um, I'll say no. Okay, so uh, you have uh, three different modules here. You have home, maintain windows, diagnose system. It's uh, updating itself here. Come on. Seems to be for some odd reason scanning and running uh, maintain windows in the background for some odd reason. So I'm stuck with this window right now. We'll wait till finish scanning. Okay, finally. So it did say it says it found some problems. When, if you when, when you hit scan, and you can check them out, see what they are. We have some cookies, which is fine. Uh, you have some registry things that uh, you know reg a registry cleaner basically. And I've never had any problems with um, uh, with the cleaner here ever messing anything up so that's no problem you can uh, it can delete different uh, privacy you know you can select cookies and index files for different programs it does Internet Explorer uh, Firefox Google Chrome Opera Safari window you know regular Windows and all sorts of other applications it has that built in so that's nice and uh, it'll do a junk files cleaning for you too rid of all old stuff that you don't need anymore. Uh, it's got a diagnose system. It'll check for system opti optimization, um, security defense, disk defragmentor, analyze the security. You can uh, mess with the settings. Um, in the free version, I know that when you do the registry fix, you can't enable the deep scan. You actually uh, you have to buy it to get that to be enabled fully. And uh, for utilities, you got like a disk check here. Um, and you got a disk cleaner, game booster. I never use that much. You can go and download IOBIT Security 360. Uh, I did a review of that this morning. I'm going to get that up soon with the rest of these videos. Uh, registry defrag here, which is nice to do every now and then. Smart defrag, uh, you have to actually download the program from them. It's not included in the in the package but it's a free program anyway uh, you got an internet booster here which could work you know um, driver backup Let's see what else internet security assistance system backup got some administration tools here 
um, you know, software uninstaller, Windows Manager, you know, all sorts of stuff. The nice thing though is um, if you just hit the care button in the middle, it will do both of these here for you without a problem. The only thing is though you can't see what they are. It'll automatically clean them too. So if we scan here, we can see uh, what it says before we hit the button. Now this, um, let's see, we got system optimization stuff. It'll change different settings um, for you that may have been changed or uh, you know like Windows interface things it'll just optimize your system to work like it should um, security defense here it will uh, block known bad websites automatically uh, I don't know if this puts it into the host file or into registry I don't like programs that put it in the host file but it'll do a all sorts of defense things for you um, automatically when you select that. It can defrag your disk for you. Let's see what problems it has here. Well, it won't defrag it, but it'll tell you the problems that you have. Um, sorry. It'll just do it just as an automatic quick scan here. So, file fragmentation 5%. That's normal. And it's got suggestions here for um, different. Uh, running processes, you know, this is uh, basically a, um, um, what do you call it, um, kind of like hijack this, but it's built in, which is nice. So what I'll do is I'll hit the button, and you'll see that it'll automatically take care of everything for me. It'll once again scan everything and then it'll fix them. I'm just going to keep it here so you can see how about how long it takes to do this. So I guess it is defragging. Okay, that's kind of weird. Um, we will skip the defrag for now. I didn't know it actually defragged. Must have, it must have... Uh, Okay, so your hijack report will be submitted to I to the uh, IOBIT server for detailed analysis. That's kind of cool. And here you can see your. Uh, it'll tell you that if it knows, you know, is it a bad process? Is it a good process? So, that's kind of nice. And it can let you it'll let you fix them too. So that's uh pretty cool. That must have been added on. I haven't used uh advanced system care in a while, personally. And of course if you have any problems with anything that it's done, you click on the restore up here. Um and you can uh it, it, this is uh you can see the two backups that it's done. So you can undo any of the changes that it's actually performed on your system. So that's not a bad uh, not a bad deal you got there. And you can turn on, I think you can, no, oh, you have to buy these. So some of these options are disabled, but you know, if, uh, if you want the full program, I definitely uh, would buy it. It's a good program. And uh, there goes my quick little review for advanced system care. I'll uh, talk to everybody later.